かっこいてんじゃねえよ !Hi everybody! Today I want to recap a 2012 drama romance anime High School DXD Season 1. I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the scene, three men are shown, namely Hyoden Issei, Motohama, and Matsuda. Then they also want to peek at the girls who are changing clothes. When Issei wanted to peek, they were caught, and only Issei that punished. While they were talking about this moment, they saw that there was someone in the old building. The woman's name is Rias Gremory. When he came home from school, Issei was greeted by a girl named Amano Yuma who suddenly asked him to be her boyfriend. The next day, Issei showed off his new girlfriend to his friends. And of course, his friend called Issei a traitor. When he comes home from school, Yuma invites Issei to go on a date with her. Of course, Issei immediately agreed to the invitation. On Sunday, Issei was already there. While waiting, he was given a magic paper by a beautiful woman. Then, Yuma came and they went on a date. When he got home, Yuma asked for a memory. Then Yuma said whether Issei could die. Issei also saw Yuma who turned into an outcast angel, but instead he focused on her milk. Yuma didn't say much and immediately stabbed Issei in the stomach. It turns out that Yuma's goal is to kill Issei because there is a dangerous object embedded in his body. When he was about to die, he saw Rias who came out of the magic paper he got earlier. The next day, Issei asked his friends about Yuma. They don't remember, so Matsuda invites Issei and Motohama to watch a movie at his house. While watching, Issei felt something strange about him. Then he permit to go home. While in the park, he was approached by a man. That person also turns out to be an outcast angel. Issei tried to run away but he got stabbed again. When he was about to die, Rias and two other people named Kaniko and Akano came. Then, the three of them managed to kick the man ass. The next day, Issei was surprised because he was naked. When he wanted to find his underwear, he was surprised because there was also Rias who was naked in his room. Rias said that she had shared her power while healing Issei and called herself a devil. While at school, many were envious of seeing Issei who was with Rias. Then, a handsome man came named Yuto Kiba. He was told by Rias to pick up Issei. Issei also saw that Kaniko and Akano were part of the club. Rias says that they are all devils, including Issei. Then, she explained that inside Issei's body there is a sacred gear. Rias recruited Issei to become a member of the Gremory family. Issei's first task is to spread magic paper. Long story short, after completing the task, Issei is visited by an outcast angel again. Only this time Issei remembered Rias' words. Issei managed to take out his sacred gear and defeat the angel. The next day, when he was leaving for school, Issei saw a girl. The girl's name is Asia Argento. Asia asks Issei to take her to the nearest church in the city. When they arrived, Issei felt something strange because he was a devil. Later Issei met Rias and Rias explained about it. Then Rias also forbade Issei to go near the church because of the exorcist or demon slayer there. Then they get a call that there is a wild demon. They immediately looked for the demon. While fighting the demon, Rias explained their respective positions, namely Kiba as a horse. Kaniko as a fortress, Akano as queen, and Rias as king. Their strategy was like chess and as for Issei, he was still on the pawn. In short, the demon was defeated. After that, Issei went to someone's house to make a contract with him. Since no one answered, Issei barged in. But when he saw one room, he was surprised that the owner of the house had died. Then there is an exorcist who knows Issei as a demon. The exorcist was named Freed Zelzon. Then Zelzon attacks Issei which makes Issei fall. When he wanted to be killed, came Asia who turned out to be Zelzon's assistant. 
Issei was forced to tell Asia that he is a devil. Asia who saw Issei like that immediately protected him. Zelzon, who didn't accept it, slash her clothes instead. Issei who saw that also didn't accept and attacked Zelzon. When Zelzon wanted to attack Issei, his friends came to save him. When Issei want to run, Issei wanted Asia to come too. But Rias forbids that because Asia is a nun. The next day, Issei who regretted not being able to save Asia ended up training. During practice, suddenly Asia appeared which surprised Issei. Asia said that she was resting. Then Issei asked Asia out on a date with him. In short, Asia also healed the wound that Issei received yesterday. Then, came Yuma the outcast angel to pick up Asia. Apparently, Asia ran away from the church to avoid Zelzon. Issei also tried to fight back. But because Issei big mouth, he finally got stabbed by Yuma. It turns out that Yuma's goal is to get Asia's sacred gear called Twilight Healing. Yuma attacks again and Issei goes whack. Reluctantly, Asia went with Yuma because she didn't want Issei to get hurt. After that incident, Issei asked Rias to save Asia. But Rias refused. The stubborn Issei saved Asia himself. But Kiba and Kaneko helped her, but it turned out that Rias and Akano went to take care of the guard section while Issei, Kiba and Kaneko would save Asia. While inside the church, they met Zelzon instead. But Zelzon ran away because he didn't want to die. On the other hand, Rias and Akano faced an outcast angel who had met Issei. The scene shifts to Issei, where the three of them are late because Asia's sacred gear has been taken by Yuma. It made Asia dying, Issei immediately went to Asia's. Issei ran away while carrying Asia, while Kiba and Kaneko held off the enemy for them. After escaping, Issei must regret Asia who has died. On the other hand, Rias and Akano managed to defeat those outcast angels. Issei who turned out to meet with Yuma. They both battled with Issei who was angry because Asia died. Issei's sacred gear suddenly leveled up. And Yuma was defeated. Then, Rias explained Issei's sacred gear and called it the boosted gear. After that, Issei returned Asia's sacred gear and Rias resurrected Asia as a demon because her power was needed too. The day changed where Issei was invited to practice by Rias. During practice, Asia comes and Rias invites them to go to Issei's house who says that Asia will stay there. The next day, Asia becomes a new student at the school which makes all the boys there immediately excited. But they are jealous because Asia is living with Issei. The next day, while sleeping at the medical room, Issei saw Rias who was naked. When she wanted to touchy the bouncy Rias got up instead. Issei can touch it if he manages to make a contract. In short, they managed to make a contract. In the afternoon, Issei also asked about the reward. He was given only 5 seconds to hold it. Because he was overthinking, their friends have already arrived. So he failed to hold Rias' balloon. Then. Rias took Issei and Asia to look for a pet. While they were searching, suddenly they were hit by a kind of glue that made their clothes disappear. Realizing the power of the creature, Issei chose the creature to be his pet, but all refused and they eradicated it. At the same time, Asia gets her pet which is a dragon while Issei gets nothing. In the next scene, Issei is married with Rias but Issei was surprised because there was a dragon who talked to him and considered him a friend. But it was just a dream. The next day, his friend really wanted to be introduced to a girl. Issei who initially refused, finally wanted to give the girl's number. They will be invited to the men's VIP area, Issei said. It turned out that the place was a locker for women's clothes. Kaneko who realized that immediately hit her locker, making Motohama and Matsuda battered. Then, Issei the one who got hit by Kaneko. At night, 
Rias also came to Issei's room and asked Issei to do something. Just when they wanted to start, Rias' family named Grafia Lucifer came. The next day, when they were in the club room, a person named Razor Phoenix came. He is Rias's fiancé. Because Rias doesn't want him and Razor is stubborn, Grafia decides to do a game rating. Then, Rias also held an exercise for the rating game where the practice focused on Asia and Issei. But during the training, it was Asia who developed the most compared to Issei. But Issei has a secret jutsu, which is that he can let go of anything if he imagines such a perverted thing. In short, Issei has been able to use jutsu from his booster gear. Long store short, came the day of the match where they finally teleported to another dimension. The match was also supervised by their school's student council. Then, Rias came up with a plan and finally started their match. Before the match start, Rias shared a bit of her power with Issei. Then, Issei and Kaneko met the servant of Razor. Issei took out the jutsu he had learned where he tore the clothes off the girls so they couldn't do anything. Meanwhile Kaneko managed to defeat one of the Razor's servant. When they came out, the building was attacked by a Kano which made Razor's servant fall. On the other hand, Kiba has to fight three girls at once. The scene shifts to Issei where Kaneko suddenly gets attacked by Razor's queen and that makes Kaneko have to fall. Issei, who didn't accept it, wanted to fight the queen but Akano came who told Issei to go and Issei agreed. Then, Issei met Kiba who had defeated the three girls earlier. Then, they were contacted by Rias where she and Asia would go to Razor's base while Issei and Kiba would keep Razor's remaining servants busy. Later, Kiba faced sword users while Issei will fight Razor's fortress. Apparently, Kiba was able to make several swords with the magic he had. Issei who was cornered, immediately fired the shot he had learned. And Razor's fortress fell. Then, Issei saw Rias and Asia who were going to battle Razor. But Issei also has to battle with some girls. Issei who didn't want to disappoint Rias made his booster gear level up again. Issei asked Kiba to release his sacred gear. After Kiba release it, Issei absorbs and transfers it into several swords which instantly kills all of Razor's servants. But unfortunately it was paid by the death of Akano and Kiba who were hit by Razor's queen. When he was about to be killed, Rias came and said that she gave up. After the match, Issei had another dream about his booster gear which was a dragon named Drake. Then comes Grafia who says that the engagement party between Rias and Razor is about to start. Grafia who saw Issei's sincerity then gave him a magic circle paper to be used for the party. The scene shift to the party, where Issei suddenly came and disturbed the event. His friends also helped. Then came Rias's brother named Sirzek Lucifer who is the Demon King. Then, he asked Issei to have a one-on-one -on -one battle with Razor to fight for Rias. And their battle began. Issei said he would beat Razor with 10 seconds. Then, Issei asked to level up to Queen and he turned into a dragon. Apparently hours before, Issei had made a deal with Drake where he sacrificed his left hand to be replaced with a booster gear. When they were punched, both of them were injured. When he wanted to kill Razor, Issei's strength ran out first and Razor used this advantage to attack him. Turns out, Issei brought Asia's holy water and immediately splashed Razor's face. And Issei hit Razor which made him die and finally the battle was won by Issei. The anime ends with Issei asking Rias to fly using a griffin. Rias kiss Issei and the story was over. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video. 
Love you.